Ladies, we've been waiting for you Claymores for quite some time. Who the hell is that guy? I've traveled from the town of Lido. We're the ones who asked for you all to come out here. I tell you, it's really great to see that you all made the journey out here so quickly. If you Claymores want to follow me, I'll show you which direction you need to go. <laughs> Organization give us wrong information. We were told that we would be battling just normal voracious eater. Not something like that. Do they really expect the four of us to take on something of this magnitude? What is it? Oh no, you have got to be kidding me. A male awakened being? But how? How could there possibly be a male awakened being? Here it comes. Tasted foul. Helen above you. He's too fast. Get out now. Behind you. no skills but decides to butt in anyway that's too many arms it's really quite disgusting but don't worry I'll take care of it for you Generation is unbelievable. I can't believe her entire arm is almost regrown. Helen's ability to lengthen her arms is a very advanced technique. And now, looking at the design of her armor, I'm willing to bet her legs have the same attributes. Both of their abilities would normally push a warrior to the limit of their yoki powers. But these two do it as if it's second nature to them. I hope it's enough to help defeat this creature. <gasps> Oh great, so you're still here? Do us all a favor and run while you're still alive. There's no place for you in this fight. We're gonna have to take his head. We could hack at his arms all day and it wouldn't make any difference. Tell me, what are you sensing? I'm picking up Yoki Aras. One is powerful, two are average. Another is very small and insignificant, and the last one remaining is enormous, easily surpassing the others. That's our awakened being. Awakened being? Actually, it is a male awakened being, Galatea. Did you say a male? How can we be dealing with a male awakened being? I thought they could only be female fighters who happen to pass their yoki limit. The organization is to blame for these monsters. In the beginning, they made male warriors. I've never heard that. 
Claymore. Yes, when they first began making warriors, they were both male and female. But over time, the males proved to be complete failures. That is incorrect. Our warriors were not failures at all. In fact, quite the opposite. The males were very valuable assets to us. When it came to fighting, they were unmatched. But fighting wasn't the problem. The real issue was that every last one of the males reached the limit far too quickly. You see, awakening is very similar to sexual pleasure. The more the males released their yoki, the harder it became for them to suppress the overwhelming urge to awaken. Unfortunately, there was no choice but to stop the production of male warriors. Let me guess, after that there was nothing left for the male awakened beings to do but to walk the earth as voracious eaters. Precisely. And since the male warriors were bound to awaken, they only produced females after that. I can't believe that none of you have ever been briefed on this information. <laughs> Not bad. But there's one part of the story that you neglected to cover. I left something out? Indeed. And frankly, I'm surprised you haven't figured it out yet. Being as clever as you are. You still haven't figured out why you specifically were sent to hunt me down. Were we all chosen for a reason? <laughs> Seems like there's something bothering you. You bastard! All right then. I believe that now is as good a time as any. I think you need a taste of the pain true despair can bring you. All of you stay back! <laughs> Enough! True despair as promised. Well, what do you think? Damn you. This must stop. It has to. You know, it's really too bad. I'm sure that you are one of the very best Claymores. You are perceptive, clever. But a good warrior needs more than strength. In order to thrive, you must be intelligent and resourceful. But then again, a warrior can be too clever. And if you're not careful, it can also get you killed. What are you? When were you a Claymore? I am exactly what you said I was. I am a monster formed from a male Claymore years ago. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. I kill all the warriors who were delivered to me. Of course, not without a fight. I simply do what I must in order to survive. I will do what I must as well. 